We begin tonight with breaking news out of the Northern Valley. Grand Fork City leaders have officially killed the proposed Chinese owned Fufeng corn milling plant proposal following concerns over national security threats. Valley News Team's Kellen Harmon explains what led to this decision and what comes next. Fufeng remains a hot topic of discussion across the streets of Grand Forks. And Thursday nights, dozens of citizens attended the city hall meeting to voice their opinions. A company that has been deemed a national security threat now owns approximately 360 acres in our town because of a trans action that you promoted. Some cited concerns of environment and treason. You guys didn't care about any of them. Air pollution, water pollution, none of that stuff was of any interest to you. Waste disposal, you wrote it off. Why would a individual or individuals or a company be involved with a, a, somebody that is aggressive to the United States? Money, blackmail, prestige, power, or treason. While the project itself is dead, talks of what to do next are still alive, as some suggested how to handle the annexed land. You should also be working on undoing the annexation, as many business owners have now been put into a very financially vexing situation. What about the forcefully annexed businesses on Highway 81? My business is still looking at a 450% increase in our taxes. And others suggested city officials step down altogether. You do not listen to the voices of the people. You do not properly represent the citizens of Grand Forks, and we want you gone immediately. And again, I'm not asking, demanding. In Grand Forks, Kellen Harmon, Valley News Live. The city council voted in favor of refusing to connect industrial infrastructure and deny building permits for that project, essentially ending it.